He won a great ball in the air and he was still regarded as slight but he was a tremendous man to win a ball in the air and he fielded a great ball around the middle of the field or maybe 50 yards out. Skipped by his man, went on a solo run and then hit a, a huge hand pass out to the left wing to PJ Delaney. Now he continued running uh, towards the goal. PJ got the ball and sent a screamer across the goal uh, on the ground and DJ met it on the volley with his left hand off the ground. Now, uh, I would regard that as a huge skill. First of all, it's not too difficult to hit a ball, uh, continue, uh, to continue in the same direction, but he was hitting it coming across the goal at 90 degrees with his left hand, uh, which for normal players, it would be a weak uh, side, but I don't think DJ has any weakness. But he hit it, I'd say on about the 14, a screamer of a shot, which in itself was tremendous skill. But the ball hit the crossbar at probably 120 miles an hour, and he just flicked it on into the corner of the net. He was in his handball day, so he <laughs> passed the ball around 50 yards to PJ Delaney, who crossed it in. And uh, DJ was running across the 21-yard line, and on his so-called weaker hand, he. Uh, pulled on the ball as it was coming across, travelling across very fastly. Um, we were rifled off the crossbar. I thought it was in the net because the net was shaking so much after hitting the crossbar, but the ball came flying out. We were all sticking and looking and DJ was just there reflexing the back in. It was just, I suppose it was just unbelievable, the skill and the reflexes to do it, you know, the ability to do it, and I don't think anyone else could have done it. Who else would be following up the ball? Hits the ball, hits the crossbar, and then is coming back at maybe 60 miles an hour, still Kerry is able to turn in a flash of an eye and, and hit it. You know, he, he is God. Clare were at the height of their power at the time, and DJ was at the height of his power. And we did everything possible, everything possible, off the field, on the field, including myself, to put him off his game. But he still, in that game, got one of the greatest goals I've ever seen. You know, he took on, Anthony Daly tried to take him on, Brian Lohan, and he, he was at an angle and he just stuck the ball in right underneath the crossbar at the far side of the goal. It was an unblockable shot. He, did, he was out of the game completely, but he did something, he still did something in the game that showed that he was a total genius. You know, that's DJ for you. Kilkenny were beaten that day, and DJ that year probably had his greatest year for, one of his greatest years for Kilkenny. He actually brought them to an All Ireland semi final, nearly single handedly. And um, I think. You know, that just, it proved everything for me that he is, you know, he, he was just special. Obviously this year's All-Ireland is, springs to mind and for the reason that it's the most recent in memory possibly, but um, the goal we got was class, absolute class, like to be able to, to place a ball uh, coming in at that speed from that height and to be able to stroke it calmly and casually to the corner of the net under that and pressure in the first few minutes of an All Ireland final. It really shows that and highlights that the guy has nerves of steel, you know. And the second moment was obviously the point he clipped over in the second half without uh, having to catch the ball. He just struck it off the bat after I think it was Ali Baker who sort of led on a merry go round for a couple of seconds before prior to that. It was I think that sticks out in my mind as a Possibly the greatest score I've ever seen in Crow Park. I have one unfavourite moment. He took 147 steps in the Leicester final of 91 to beat Wexford. That's an unfavourite step. So. <laughs> no, I think it was about five. Well, maybe we gave him bad habit there because the lads you saw us complain to us about the steps DJ took with the field here, but we used to always say it were small ones, you know. <laughs> but lads have said that was one of his best goals, and I've heard it said that was the best football goal of the year because if you watch it very carefully, he not only kicks it properly, but it hits the, the left stanchion of the corner of the net. So it was probably a contender for both <laughs> football and hurling goal of the year.